Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Outer Terror. This game is released on April 20th, 2023. Its regular price is $12.99 Canadian or your regional equivalent, and it's developed by Salt and Pixel LLC and published by Vox Pop Games Inc. The store page description reads, Don't die, all in caps, as you assemble a ridiculous arsenal of weapons and desperately hold out against massive hordes of creatures pulled from a variety of classic horror games reminiscent of 80s and 90s Golden Age comics and B-movies in this stylish, action-packed, arcade roguelite. That was all one sentence, that was a bit much. This is a game like Vampire Survivors. It's a Vampire Survivors like it's a bullet heaven, it's, it's you know, arena survival, whatever you want to call it. But it's got a really cool art style, very cool premise, this kind of, you know, 80s, 90s horror style. Um, I'm very interested to check it out. It's got online apparently and, and co-op, I didn't know that. Looks like you can upgrade stuff, you know, get more survivor health for quite a lot of money. I don't have any money, I haven't played it yet. Get some new weapons. It's also on the expensive side for vampire survivors like. Those are usually five or six dollars Canadian. This is twice the price, so yeah, pretty curious about it. Let's let's check it out. Outer Terror. This is pretty cool. So you choose your story and very 80s, 90s horror. The Grey Death, Kill Switch, Other Side. Incident Report, SCP, okay. <laughs> Frostbite. Let's just go for the Grey Death, maybe zombies or something. That was very spooky. It's gotta be said. Okay, we can choose our character. Albert, Grey, Lily, Alan. Is Alan a chef? I don't even need to look at the rest, although. Look at Bobby here. <laughs> Paul. Okay, let's let's if Alan's a chef, we're going for Alan. I gotta do what I gotta do. I think they're all voiced as well. That's crazy. Anything can be killed. Let's get out of here. You know, all to various degrees of goodness. <laughs> but that's cool that they're all voiced. I gotta do what I gotta do. Okay, Alan, let's do what we gotta do then. Let's terror some outers. Who is man? <laughs> Was this written by an AI? <laughs> For he is lower than the angels. No, okay, it makes sense, sort of. But I will descend upon him with my presence. That sounds like something an outer terror would say. <laughs> I've heard his cry. <sighs> this is pretty cool. I will wipe away every tear. I'd say it's like almost more comic y than, you know, filmic and mend his wounds. Pour out justice. This must be the, the gray. gray dread or whatever it was, I don't remember. They're all zombies. Give him a new body. All will be made equal. We shall dwell together. What the hell is happening? I don't know. Where's Alan? Where's my chef boy? <laughs> I heard the family next door start screaming. I went to check on them and they would fused together. They wanted me to join them. Gross. <laughs> I agree. Whoa. <laughs> Behind you. Let's get moving. I don't want to get surrounded by these things. There has to be other survivors. I need to find Kleinwood Town Square. Maybe there is a road nearby. Okay. Select? I don't know what select is. Pro oh, that's my map. We can pause and get a, a look at a bigger map. Uh, I'm guessing we auto attack in the direction we're facing. Actually, maybe not even in the direction we're facing. Like, probably just wherever it's closest. We got a level. Um, there was... Oh, I can't see options in here. No! Damn it. There was an option to toggle on or off. Uh, oh god, I'm dying. That doesn't pause. That's... that's... tough. Um, to, uh, to toggle on or off. Uh, <laughs> this is really hard without being able to pause. Uh, toggle on or off. Uh, like, when you level up, it would pause. And I think it's off, but it's obviously off by default. It is not on right now. Uh, so what am I, what am I getting? Uh, axe. We've got that, I think. Uh, axe tenderizer. Interesting. A gun. Aura of pain. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. We've killed like a hundred things already. We're supposed to check this body, I think. Uh, we got some coins out of it, maybe? Flamethrower! 
sick. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely equipping those as weapons, because I'm still doing my flame flamethrower. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's not really much point in, uh... I need health, probably. In pressing start, because your, your map's just down at the bottom. You can turn it off, because it's not the best looking map. Uh, health. Bear trap. Oh, what can we do with... What's that S on the RT? Oh, spinny things. And left bumper. Come on in. Come on into this, this bear trap. I'm really dying. I wish my health had a number on it. That'd be nice. Uh, alas. It does not. And I'm going to die very, very quickly, I think. <laughs> so we're, we're getting moving. Okay, so yeah, you... It's worth it to check bodies. Oh, cool. <laughs> this is sweet. Oh. Main Street. I can follow something. I can follow this. Damn it. I was trying to just hurry up the text. Can I break these cars? Uh, we gotta just keep doing health. Oh, I did. Oh, that car's on fire. Is it gonna, is it gonna blow up? I'm probably supposed to go south, I would guess. I just want to see if this car is going to blow up. There it is! Wait, am I level 12 or is my health 12? That's my experience at the top. Where's my health? Oh, I'm stuck in here. Oh, my health's above my head. I'm fucking <laughs> stupid. I thought the XP bar was my health. That's pretty embarrassing. So uh, all those times I was healing health, probably didn't really need it. I went for more damage on my axe there. That seems pretty good. Can I get this one to blow up? Yes. Okay, it's on fire. How long does it take to blow up, though? Ooh, what's that? I, I don't know. A uh, pistol. I can't do anything with this. Oh, it's probably because I'm maxed on... Th oh, I've got a health kit. Okay, I've used a health kit in my left bumper. And I can pick up. Yes. XP boost, sure. And do my R RT. I need to use those way more. And let's do a heal as well. This is pretty sweet. Um, I, I like the 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 art style, I guess, the aesthetic of the game. Uh, I'm not huge on just how blurry a lot of the things are. Like the main character and all of these, like they're pixelated, but then they're also like incredibly blurred. Um, I think it would look a lot nicer if they were, uh, just not blurred. <laughs> I, I would, I would, uh, that's the direction I would go, personally. Um, there's, you can put a CRT filter on, I don't really like CRT filters, it might actually make them look better <laughs> in this case. Let's do bam. Uh, more axe, that sounds good. I assume I need to be going south here. Ooh, bear trap. Let's put that down. There we go. I'm starting to die a lot here. It's not ideal. I'm I'm really low on health. Oh my god. Kind of quite hard to dodge things actually. They move pretty quickly. Oh god. Yeah, we'll heal. That's pretty good. There's a body there. Gather. Gather's money. Sure. I didn't have that much, apparently. <laughs> I'm guessing the S on, like, the right trigger ability just means, like, special, possibly. And my special, because I'm a chef, is I'm throwing out, like, um... Meat cleavers or something like that. Oh, no, I'm gonna get trapped in here. Not today, bitch. Bear trap. Uh, we'll heal a bit more, sure. Definitely looked like there's a good, good variety of enemies. Uh, of enemies? Eh, enemies are decent. Oh, god. Uh, of, of playable characters. Oh, can I break this? I don't know if I'm hurting it. I think I was. No, I think it's just moving. <laughs> Things are, like, spawning out of it. This is cool, like, the, the map's really cool. Splendid. Hey, you with the guns, over here. Can you keep these creatures off me? I need to fix my machine. 
Okay. Um, I think the bar was going up. It was going up while, while it was paused. Now we can better fortify this town, but I'm not sure how long this fix will last. Need your help. How can I help? Yes. These creatures in the fungal growth around town seem to be a mash of human parts. It's fascinating. The crawling out of those towers of meat, we need to destroy them. Give ourselves time to regroup and build barricades. Okay. I'm on it. Okay. So we gotta, we gotta attack this thing. Basically. I died. I think it was damaging me. <laughs> Whoopsie, I died. Okay, so if we go settings. Because I definitely think upgrade pause. I think that should be on. I think that's good. Uh, I'm not going to put the CRT filter on because I think it can sometimes like mess up your YouTube video. Uh, let's have a look at upgrade. I've got 300 bucks. I cannot afford anything. Nope, I think the cheapest is like 500 for a Molotov. But that's, that's fine. Uh, I think I'll skip the story, but I do want to try a different one. Let's try Frostbite. That sounds interesting. Very spooky again. Okay, let's be not Harley Quinn. Because why not? <laughs> I think she was on the front cover anyway. Gather those gas cans lying around. Bring them over there to the fuel tank. We can get gas from vehicles too. If we have to, I know there's gas around the island. I'm going to start a firewall on this for tanks. We'll freeze out here if we don't. Okay. I'm not, I'm not attacking. Oh. That was my special. Okay, I'm attacking now that I'm out of the base. Interesting. And I think because it's cold, I'm taking damage. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we pause. That's good. Uh, let's get a flamethrower. And so if I go back in here... The timer does pause. And am I going to heal by the fuel tank? No. Very strange. I can't use my like gun in there or whatever it is. My projectiles, but I can outside. This is a strange map. <laughs> strange level. A rifle. Sure. Why not? Throwing knives. They're throwing knives. Okay. Yeah, more throwing knives sounds good. We can get some gas here. But I can use it to make a fire pit. There we go. And that'll heal me up. Interesting. <laughs> very, very interesting. Ooh, a machete. That's good for close, I think. This game's sweet. Yeah, I just wish everything was, like, all the assets weren't so blurry. Um, yeah, they, they should, they could be a lot sharper. Um, I don't know if it's in early access. It's not in early access. But I would still hope that gets worked on. Hopefully. Does this, does this, uh... Fire pit just stay forever? It seems very, very good. Oh, I haven't used my special. My special is an explosion, I think. <laughs> Machete. I can just hang out here. This is great. Fuel tank 75%. So I probably need to take the other fuel tank I've got back there, right? Um, obviously, because I skipped the story, I don't actually know, you know what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> well, that's fine, right? So let's take this fuel tank back. There we go. Uh, there were definitely, like, four fuel tanks hanging around in here at the start of the level, and I put them all in there when it was not empty. So I think I wasted some of those, but I will know for next time. Is my fire still here? No, it's burnt out now. So we gotta look for another one. Oh, look at that explosion there. Uh, rifle. Looks like your weapons can get upgraded, like, seven times, I think? We got a fire pit. Or we, we could do another fire pit. <laughs> that explosion's pretty funny. Oh, there's another one there. I don't think we need to do a fire pit yet. Uh, but we could do it here. And level up our machete and grab another one. And we'll heal up here and we'll take this back to the fuel tank. Oh god, they're everywhere. I need to blow them up. Bam! I think it just does an explosion on me when I do that ability. My right trigger ability. <laughs> so I gotta wait until I'm surrounded and then do it. Okay, I'm full health, actually. Let's, let's run back to the fuel tank, then. 
It's just over here. Ah, throwing knives. Yeah, my throwing knives are level 3. Everything else is level 2 except for my... I don't remember what I got there. An SMG, which is level 0. Okay, that car just exploded, which severely hurt me. <laughs> but we've now put more fuel in there. So maybe let's grab this. And we'll probably put it into the car, or into this fuel tank. Just to make sure it's full, and then we're going back out. Oh my god, there's so much fuel around here, jeez. Pretty much don't even need to worry about it now. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't realize how low I was getting. <laughs> I should be... Bam! Did a nice explosion there. Oh, this is going to be a satisfying explosion. Yeah! <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh my god, you can, like, really easily get overrun, actually. Oh no! <laughs> I just popped a new item as well. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Okay, well, I think that'll do. Um, I checked out two of the levels. I think there were... God, how many were there? Five levels altogether. Yeah, these five. I, I like... I mean, I only played two of them, but they're obviously, like, very different from each other. You know, it's the same kind of Vampire Survivors sort of style gameplay, but they've got, like, all these these objectives and stuff, which definitely make it a little, little bit more unique. And yeah, the art style is really good. Um, I just wish some of the models... Or some of the assets weren't so incredibly blurry because it's it's pretty off-putting like they they could be sharpened up a fair bit i'd say that was a look at outer terror thank you guys very much for watching make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later bye